And we're going to be moving a couple of these guys, a Fletcher and a little one, over to the mountaintop so that we don't have to keep rowing all the way over here. And as we get their boat built, they will uh, find themselves in a very nice home. Row, row, row the villagers gently back to base. Look at them grow up right before your eyes. Isn't this wonderful? We've expanded the dock quite a bit here, and I think it's time to start working on what's going to be the vessel, the trading vessel that we're going to have for all of our villagers from our Taiga village across the way. And I did take an opportunity to move a couple of them over just to let one of them grow up and give me a chance to collect emeralds while I was working. But I think what we're going to do is have this be the edge of the boat, maybe two or three blocks away from the dock so we could have a little bit of like a ramp or a ladder going up and then it's going to come out this way and we need to decide if we're going to make the front of the vessel point towards the north or towards the south i'm not certain on that but what i do know is we're going to have it be a foundation and it's going to be maybe about three or four blocks below where the surface is so using this as a guide we're going to hop on down and uh, just kind of start getting some wood placed. So I'm going to go ahead and tear out, whoa, the trident attacking me, yeesh. Nasty guy, I'm filming here. Let me take care of this. How rude, the drown need to stay away from our building area. Back to what we were doing. So. Yeah, we're just basically going to get rid of most of this dirt and then right down in here, and this guy's going to come play with us for a moment, right down in here is where we're going to put the length of wood. Uh, should come out right to this part here, the last block. So a great building trick when you're doing projects like this is to count out how many blocks you're going to need and then that way you don't have to remember to count out all your blocks as you're actually placing them down. I know I wanted my base to be 29 blocks long so if I come down here this guy out and just go this way because I've already put the right number of blocks on the other side away. Here we go again. Where were we? Because I've already put the right number of blocks down on the other side, coming back this way with the 14 should take me almost right to that edge. I wouldn't have to worry about counting. Magic. A couple on top on each side. So we're going to go up. And we're going to go one, two, three on this side. And we'll do five more over here. Whole length here. Oh, away, we're busy. Steve. Oh, come on, fish. I'm trying to get rid of the water. I know, you don't want it. But I don't want you. That's a lot. All over the place. I somehow made a fish farm. Old McAxey had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. On his farm he had some cod, E-I-E-I-O. With a fish fish here and a smack smack there, here a fish, there a fish, everywhere a fish fish. They're just gonna keep spawning, aren't they? All right, well, it looks like we've got the base of the foundation more or less good to go for the boat. I started to clear out some of the water from up front here and I've got these other compartments, and I think what I might do is start getting them out, just so it's a little easier uh, moving about the boat. Uh, I don't want to have to worry about drowns spawning in here, and to be honest, I'm I'm tired of the fish. So uh, we're going to tackle this kind of compartmentally, do one little bit at a time, 
uh, eventually get all the water out of here, especially as I don't have sponges. You see and you hear about people, especially on YouTube, streamers, Minecraft streamers and whatnot, talking about having to clear water and how tedious it is without access to a sponge. This is kind of it. You place blocks, you dig the blocks up. You place blocks, you dig the blocks up. And yeah, it's not a fun process. It's obnoxious to say the least. But we got about half the ship done, give or take a couple of compartments and holds still to come. Oh. Okay. Taxi in a boat. Axie in a boat at the dock. Axie with a fisherman. Axie's big boat. One of these is not like the other. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I've got this little... This isn't even a skiff, man. This is like a plank of wood that's floating in the water with a spoon on the side compared to the big one I'm going to build here. Like, my boat is what happens when the wind knocks off some of the siding of this one. I could literally park my boat right here, and you wouldn't even notice it. But yeah, this is nice. So I'm going to work on building up the outsides. We're going to start going vertically a little bit more. And we got to go another block or two over. And we have a wonderful work in progress on the boat this thing is coming out absolutely beautifully we've got the stern up on the front which we're going to kind of work into smooth out later on i put in this oak for a band around the spruce we've got the keel here in the back starting to overhang of course it dips down so we have a nice big rudder and quite a bit of the boat underwater especially for the size which i think works nicely and the next thing is to start putting in the deck. We've got this big area in here, which is going to go wonderful for putting in some villagers and other little bits. But I wanted to start on what's going to be the top deck. And uh, yeah, we've kind of decided to do some birch. So I thought it would be kind of cool just to run this through and uh, get this all filled in. Then we can start putting in things like the masts and we're gonna have to do a couple more levels just around the front and the sides. And then of course, put in something nice here in the back end also. Uh, this is gonna be a, a pretty massive ship and it's gonna be plenty of room for us to throw in our villagers, but we'll decorate it out. We'll throw in some barrels and some other stuff. So can't wait to show you later. All right, so I was doing some work around the village and I had a visitor come and see me and now I've got a lot of visitors who are here and I don't know that I'm ready for this. Um, hmm, this could be bad, folks. This could be bad. Let's see how we do. Uh, I don't know where all they're going to be. Hopefully they are mostly in the water. I feel like I need to get into my boat or onto my boat. I feel like. Oh. Ah. I can hit from somewhere else. What is that? Oh, he's just got a strong. Let's take him out and second raid. Ah, how yeah, this works. All right, hiding in the boat, probably a bad idea. Looks like, looks like they come in the boat. I thought I was being slick. Like, this is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay, uh, I gotta, I gotta stash some things. So hold on here, folks. Um. Good. Barrel. Great. I'm going to stash some of my rocks. Definitely this. I don't need those. Arrows are important. Get rid of sand. This and some wood. 
Keep the banner. It's because. Like, why not? That'll be fine. Um, okay, let's see how we do. I'm going to keep my food on me. No idea where these guys are. Uh, that could be bad if they're all up here. They are. Um, they can shoot me. Oh, hey, your buddy uh, did not like Al. I want to hide. Uh, your buddy didn't like you guys uh, hitting him. Just, you know, in case you needed to be aware. Uh, what a nice enchanted axe. What is that? Sharpness and efficiency. Hmm. I know why the villagers go, hmm. I just went, hmm. All right, uh, how do I do this? Is this... Ow. This'll be bad when there's a witch or a vex. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see, and this is just a bad idea. Let's do that. That way I can at least jump up here and see that. All right, let's see if we can find wherever this last guy might be. I think that's him. Ah, oh, man, when I get vexes, I am hosed. Vexes and witches are going to wreck me. But it's okay. Okay, we can figure this out. See where the raid comes from. As long as it doesn't spawn right on my face. Are they inside? Nope, nope. Okay. Not inside. Uh, I don't know if they would actually appear on the top of the mountain or not. Where else would they appear? I I hear it. I hear the raid. I don't know where the raid is. Uh, Ravager is over there. All right, one Ravager dead. That's a good sign. Uh, Alright, got that guy down. Two more remain. Let's see if we can find him, folks. Let's see if we can find him. Alright, I see one over there. Got one. Got him. I took care of that Ravager, so that's nice. Um, but let's see if we've got other friends on the side. Hear him back there. Also, uh, you know, emeralds. Yay. Did that Ravager drop an emerald? Do Ravagers drop emeralds? No. Oh, he must be stuck in front of me. I do like that the Ravager was stuck in the water, though. That's a good sign. Um, oh, yeah, them Vexes and the Witches are going to be bad, Juju. He's stuck in the cows. Well, that's unfortunate. What type of cow? It's called a raid cow. Oh, this is a bad spot to be. They like to spawn over here. Run for it! I don't have good hiding spots. This is my problem. Uh, top of the boat's probably one of the best until they spawn up there. Let's see. In the boat? Negative. Okay. 
Doesn't look like they come down from the boat on their own. Let's see, are they on the boat? Doesn't look like it. This looks like it's only maybe half a raid. <gasps> Do they spawn somewhere and fall to their death? That'd be hilarious. All right, sounds like they're this way. There they are. Yeah. Gotcha. One more. Oh, hello, drone. You're not part of the raid, though. Where's your friends, guys? Oh, there he is. Let's see how many arrows I have left after this. 52. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're going to grab some of these. Again, if at least if there's a Ravenger here in the water, he's not going to get me. So that's not bad. But I do like my boat being a good outpost to uh, check things. Hmm. Let's see, are they in? Are they in? Raids, raids. No raids. Okay, boat's clear. Are they on the boat again? Nope. Don't see it on the boat. There they are. And look at that. Ravenger and do we have evokers? We're going to take these guys out while we can. The water gives us advantage on Ravagers, so that is awesome. However, it eats up our arrows, which is not the awesome. Uh, one, two, down. One, two, down. We are low on arrows. We might have to sneak into our archer and grab one. And I also think there's, yeah, there's like a guy right under our feet somewhere. I think he's swimming. One, two. I mean, they go down relatively easy. I don't know why I just jumped on that. I could take no damage jumping in the water, Axie. Uh, is that the invoker? That is the invoker, which means totem, please. Yes. yes, totem of undying, our first. Oh, so nice. So, so nice. Uh, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Here, here. But where? Oh, right there. Let's see. If I get his attention, he'll come into the water. Okay. Well, that sounded like it hurt, bud. All right, we are going to duck in here for a second. Ooh. Hey guys, what's up? I need some arrows, please. Thank you. And let's make sure these guys stay safe. Again, it's the witches and the evokers that are the most dangerous because they will ignore pathing for the blocks uh ravagers bad right but uh the water is definitely helping me here i like the defense of my village guy my village my uh my dock my dock is doing not bad see oh, there's another guy one his attention hey come back here where's he going We're gonna let this guy ha huh, ha huh, at me. Open the arrows I didn't use. Whew. Ooh, I even got an illager head. Alright, let's see. Can I take him out? Nighttime would be bad. We don't want nighttime. Uh, also, I don't know where there's possibly any ravagers, so we gotta keep our eye out for them still. 
one. I like this bow, folks. Oh, there he is. I'm sure he was summoning a Vex. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Beautiful. Back to the boat. Also, maybe sleep? We can sleep. This is hilarious. Uh, sorry, Raid. I have to take a nap. All right, so it looks like the raid's starting over there, which is nice. I see another evoker. Let's take out that Ravager. Let's see. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got him. A good bow and a good shootout spot. Anything's possible. Come at me, evoker. Come at me. Oh, you got a friend over here. Let's go get him. One, two. Took him out. Another guy down there. Great. This is going to be like four totems, folks. Run around. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Another totem. Cool. Hey, buddy. Hey. You're going to hurt. Take your axe. Two remaining. Okay. Well, two remaining. We have another cow raider. <laughs> that sounded painful. Seriously, I really appreciate the def Hey, hero of the village. Hero of the village. That, that was an unexpected encounter. Oh, I gotta tell you, my dock, my dock was pretty nice. Lots of river. I like the river being around. I like the water being out here. This, this is sweet, right? That made it not so scary. You know what? I think to celebrate our very first raid, we should have some cake. Let's go make some.